what is atomic number atomic mass a mass number how do you calculate mass number and atomic number and how to find the number of protons electrons and neutrons in any atom before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and get access to our hundred of conceptual lectures for free we have learned in the previous lecture that atoms are different from each other it is because they have different number of protons no two elements have the same number of protons for example consider hydrogen atom and carbon atom there is only one proton in hydrogen nucleus and there are six protons in carbon nucleus this hydrogen atom is different from carbon atom due to number of protons now what we have learned from this example well we have learned that if an atom has only one proton it will indicate hydrogen atom if an atom has six protons it will indicate carbon atom therefore we say that atoms are different from each other now what is atomic number of an element well the total number of protons present in the nucleus of any atom of element is called atomic number of that element atomic number is represented by the symbol z for example consider an atom of sodium element note it down that i only draw valence shell of all atoms there are 11 protons present in the nucleus of sodium hence atomic number of sodium is 11 consider an atom of oxygen element we know that there are eight protons present in the nucleus of oxygen hence the atomic number of oxygen is 8 consider an atom of chlorine there are 17 protons present in the nucleus of chlorine hence the atomic number of chlorine is 17 simply remember that atomic number of n element is equal to its proton numbers thus when you listen or read atomic number always remember that it is the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom no what is atomic mass a mass number well mass number a atomic mass is defined as the sum of total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom atomic mass a mass number is represented by the symbol a for example consider an atom of helium there are two protons and two neutrons present in the nucleus of helium now we add number of protons and neutrons 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 hence the mass number of helium is 4 units secondly consider an atom of carbon there are 6 protons and 6 neutrons present in the nucleus of carbon atom 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 hence the mass number are atomic mass of carbon atom is 12 units thirdly consider an atom of sodium there are 11 protons and 12 neutrons present in the nucleus of sodium 12 plus 11 is equal to 23 hence the mass number of sodium is 23 units simply remember that atomic mass or mass number is equal to the sum of number of protons plus number of neutrons also remember that atomic mass or mass number is sometime called nucleon number it is because protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus now let me ask you we know that an atom is made up of three sub particles electron proton and neutron why we ignore the mass of electron and consider the masses of proton and neutron while calculating atomic mass can you guess the answer well it is very easy 
the mass of electron is negligible or you can say that the mass of electron is so small that we have to neglect it therefore calculating atomic mass a mass number we neglect the mass of electron also let me teach you the symbolic representation of atomic number and mass number consider a general atom x we know that mass number is represented by a and atomic number is represented by z thus we write mass number here and we write atomic number down here the common mnemonic i teach to my students is always remember a to z let me repeat it always remember a to z for example you can spot that carbon atom is usually written like this in the periodic table again remember the mnemonic from a to z 12 is the mass number of carbon and 6 is the atomic number of carbon similarly you can spot oxygen atom like this in the periodic table again remember from a to z 16 is the mass number of oxygen atom while 8 is the atomic number of oxygen atom lastly let me teach you how do you calculate subatomic particles like proton electron and neutron of a given atom well consider hydrogen atom well we know that atomic number is equal to total number of protons present in an atom hence there are only one proton and hydrogen atom we also know that in atom number of protons is equal to number of electrons hence there is also one electron present in hydrogen atom what about neutrons well simply minus atomic number from atomic mass or mass number 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 thus there is no neutron present in this hydrogen atom secondly consider chlorine atom we know that 35 is the mass number and 17 is the atomic number of chlorine atom thus there are 17 protons and 17 electrons present in the chlorine atom what about neutrons minus 17 from 35 35 minus 17 is equal to neutrons present in the chlorine atom finally calculate the number of protons electrons and neutrons and oxygen atom and drop your answer in the comment box this was all about atomic number and mass number if you have learned something new in this video then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual lectures thank you very much for watching this video